Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today I have somewhat of a quick video for you and it is a special request. So I recently did a full review video of the new Dior Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipsticks. I will link it over here so you can check it out. This is a new line of transfer proof bullet lipsticks from Dior and I fell in love with this formulation. Oh my god, I love it so so much, spoiler alert. And I was asked to do a comparison between this shade, which is Forever Night, this is shade 111, it is a dark kind of midnight purple. I was asked to compare it to the Gucci Tony Purple Lipstick. This is shade 703 because they are very similar. So that's what we're doing in this video. So if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned and let's jump into the comparisons. So first up is Dior. This is the Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof Lipstick. It retails for $42 and contains 0.12 ounce of product or 3.5 grams. The shade we're using for comparison is shade 111, which is Forever Night, and it is described as a deep berry black. The packaging is really simple, really sleek. It is a semi-matte black packaging with the Christian Dior logo in silver, and on the bottom you have a label with the shade name. It is a slim, profile lipstick so it's a slim twist up tube and it closes by integral tabs which is actually great for keeping this packaging completely closed and airtight because this lipstick can dry out pretty quickly. Then we have the Gucci Velvet Matte Lipstick. This retails for $45, so it's a little bit more expensive than the Dior version, and it contains the same amount of product at 0.12 ounce or 3.5 grams. And the shade we have to compare is 703 Tony Purple, which is described as a dark purple. Now this pack packaging is definitely more luxurious than the Dior lipstick. It is this beautiful metallic gold tube with the Gucci logo on top. It has striations along the tube that give that little kind of vinyl feel to it. On the bottom we have a label with the shade name and manufacturing information. And inside is a gold tube that you twist up and it's a standard style bullet lipstick so it's the regular sizing and it secures with a magnetic closure. But both style tubes will stand upright in a storage container because they have flat bottoms. The labels are not color coded, so you'll have to either open the tube or know the shade number and name in order to know what shade is included inside. Which is kind of a drawback for me, but I understand they want it to be a little bit more sleek and luxurious looking. Now let's go ahead and jump into the swatches so you can see them side by side. These two lipsticks are different formulations, but both of them have a matte finish. With Gucci being a little bit more of a powder matte or a soft matte finish, the Dior matte finish is definitely more of a true matte where there's no shine, no sheen, while the Gucci finish does have a little bit of a shine to it. It's not the shine of a cream lipstick or a glossy lipstick, it just isn't a full-on true matte finish. And swatching these shades out, you'll see that they're very, very similar in depth. They look almost identical, except for a slight difference in undertone. The Gucci lipstick definitely is more of a black and purple. You can see the purpley undertone when compared to the Dior lipstick. So it leans a little bit more like a blackened berry with a little bit more red undertone than purple. So that's the true difference. But we're going to see it swatched out on the lips as well. And I'll go ahead and swatch each of these shades now on my lips so you can see how they apply starting out with the Dior lipstick again this is described as a deep berry black and it is a richly pigmented shade it does take a couple of swipes to get a full opaque finish from this lipstick but just a couple of layers and you're gonna get full on pigmented lipstick and it looks fantastic on the lips again the formulation is more of a true matte 
and it dries down to a transfer proof finish so this is very long wearing it's very long lasting but it doesn't have that same uncomfortable drying feel that you can experience from a liquid lipstick it's given that transfer proof quality but in a bullet lipstick that has a more comfortable formula then we have the gucci lipstick in tony purple this is a very pigmented formula as well. It takes just a couple of swipes to get full opacity. I think this is a little bit more pigmented than the Dior lipstick in one single swipe, but you still have to layer it to get that full opacity. And this color is very intense. It's very beautiful. And the formulation is different. It's a little bit more cushiony. It feels a little bit more hydrating. It's definitely a more comfortable formula, but along with that comes a shorter wear time so it's not as long lasting but it does wear for a pretty long time it's just going to transfer a lot more than the Dior formulation would. So you've already seen the swatches side by side on my arm, but I want to show you what they look like on my lips side by side. Seeing them next to each other, you can see the slight undertone difference, again with the Gucci being a little bit more on the purple side while the Dior is more on the berry side. They're still very richly pigmented, deep, dark shades. So it's not gonna be obvious at all that these are two completely different shades shades because the undertone difference is not that significant it's so slight you can barely tell and I wonder if you can tell that I am wearing both shades of lipstick right now one on each lip can you tell me which one is on which lip let me come up a little bit closer you might be able to tell with an up close shot of my lips but from far away there's no significant difference but I will tell you this the Gucci lipstick is deeper and darker and richer. It's definitely a darker, more vampy shade. The Dior next to it is a little bit lighter. And then, of course, the undertone. So the Gucci lipstick has a richer, deeper purple undertone, which I think lends to it being a little bit more vampy, while the Dior shade has a little bit more berry red to it. So you'll see a little bit of red peeking through that shade, which doesn't make it as deep and rich. And at the end of the day, looking at them from a distance, you can't really tell the difference. So it's all up to you what you're looking for for from this lipstick. If you want a true matte lipstick that has no shine to it, that's gonna be long lasting and transfer proof, go with the Dior. If you want a more comfortable formula that's still richly pigmented and does wear for a pretty decent time, then the Gucci may be for you. If you're going for price point, then Dior is gonna be more up your alley because it is cheaper and both lipsticks contain the same amount of product. But if you're looking for a more comfortable formula, Gucci all the way. If you're looking for a more luxurious lipstick, one that you can feel like you're treating yourself, then it's gonna be Gucci. Do you see that packaging? I mean, come on. The Dior is still sexy, but the Gucci is that step up into luxury. So really, it's up to you. Like, what are you truly looking for? I personally love that I have both lipsticks, so it's all about what you're looking for. Color-wise, there's not a significant difference. So if that's the comparison that you were looking for, there you have it. Otherwise, it's all about the price, the formula, the packaging, pick your poison because both of them are amazing and I'm happy I have both of them in my collection. So hopefully this video was helpful and if there are other videos like this that you want me to do quick comparisons for, let me know in the comments down below. I can probably even do shorts instead because those will be really easy and quick to do. But I wanted to go a little bit more in depth in this video because I like to give details and I like to talk. So hopefully again, this video was helpful. I will leave links down below to Sephora where you can grab either of these lipsticks in case you were interested. Those are affiliate links which will give me a small kickback if you make a purchase through those links, which is a great way to show your support for the channel because it does help me to put right back into the content. I'm also going to go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys. Thank you.